Hello everybody, it's Tanima here, <coughs> and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zero in Minecraft. Now, I'm sorry it's been a while, but I've been really busy with uh, things, and um, I've been doing a few other videos, as if you are subscribed to the channel, please do, you would know. Uh, or if you were a fan of the channel and you are um, not subscribed or aren't able to. Anyway. This is part two of our aquarium build, and I have no idea why still didn't see jungle man skin. I think it, because around then we were having like skin diff, like me, me and um, dragon man sometimes did, were having like skin glitches where it would change it to other to um, the other skins, and because we have each other's custom skins, um, sometimes it would show up as different people, which is sometimes hilarious and sometimes kind of annoying. Anyway, so we are starting with um, filling in the water for the sea turtle habitat and then um, like decorating it and then putting in the actual animals themselves. Now we didn't put in the sea turtles because there's going to be a small section that's linked to the second floor. And before we do that, the turtles would just be able to uh, escape easily because there's land all the way around and they can climb over that. So, um, we're not putting the sea turtles in yet, so we put in the um, so we're putting the fish, so that there's um, you know the fish, uh, you know vanilla fish from the game, um, because we want them, <laughs> and um, yeah, it adds something to the habitat because you're not just going to have like sea turtles in a habitat and nothing else so we, we put in some or lots of tropical fish a few cod and a couple of puffer fish so uh, yeah as you can see the sea turtle habitat is like a coral reef that's its inspiration and that's what we tried to recreate and obviously we lit up the sea pickles because why not not it's the best um, underwater lighting mechanism unless you're gonna hide light <gasps> That was all to say at once. Um, anyway, and um, also, guys, um, so when, when I record after I record the time lapse, and um, it was split into two videos, which meant that I had to make both into separate time lapses, which means that there's two separate time lapses. Um, so if there's any like music lag or something, then um, I do apologize um like when, when it switches and um, because there probably will be a that there, 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 there might just be like a split second pause or a few seconds of pause but yeah that that won't be for another nine minutes or so so um this was uh i think an hour and 45 um this time that's oh yeah i was showing diligent the uh amazing sea turtles from the um texture pack Yep, whoever made this text pack, and I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know who you are, but if, if you somehow come to watch this video, it's such an amazing text pack. And also, uh, you could update it. That would make it even better. Put the 1.16 blocks in it. And when 1.17 comes out, then that as well. Anyway, so um, I do believe now me and Dylan are going to expand the aquarium, I think, um, apparently not, uh, oh yeah, okay, so this, um, guys, is the alligator habitat, now this is slightly based off, um, a zoo that I went to, well, I've been, t I've been to it twice, um, no, I, the last time was like 2019 or something, so two years ago. In fact, um, a couple of days less than exactly two years ago, because in Britain it's a bank holiday. Um, well, from now, I guess. And, um, well, <laughs> uh, right, what am I trying to say? Is it May? I don't think it's May. Is it May? Is it April or May? It's April, surely. I'm positive it's April. Um, 
anyway so we've got this um is it april okay um yeah so the the um bank holiday in 2019 when we had this bank holiday we went to the zoo and um i actually haven't said what it's called it's called the welsh mountain zoo and it's it's in wales and it's in a place called colwyn bay um so i i do recommend it it's got things like snow leopards and it has like a small reptile house with alligators in so th- so basically that's what this habitat is um mildly based off so it was like a hallway really hot obviously we can't exactly have heat but um yeah it's mildly based off that so there was like a corridor with glass windows and then the pools and then the alligators uh so yeah i definitely recommend that too it also has things like tigers bears um bears <laughs> brown bears um and more so yeah very very good um it also has like walk through lemurs which is so fun and um, i definitely recommend it to anyone who's british or who is going to a british or going to britain um specifically like north wales ish like it, it depends where you live and it, it's kind it's kind of close to the border of england um not too far away but well depends where you are um also um we were so um diligent he named the octopus uh he he, he named it ginormous fat i know <laughs> like um sure but also why <laughs> And we tried to dye the signs, um, but we found the texture pack because um, dyeing signs became a feature in the 1.16.220 update, I think, or the other way around. And then Diligent got bored and started burning everything. Um, anyway, I, so colour signs were added to bedrock, like colouring signs with um, dye. Uh, in one of the latest 1.16 updates um, but it doesn't work with the texture pack because um, it hasn't been updated basically so when it gets updated if the person who I mentioned who moved the text pack whoever it is um, is watching this video then um, when you do update it don't forget to do the dyed signs because yeah you know I actually don't know if that's possible to texture but, um, try your best. <laughs> anyway, back to the build. Um, I've been talking for a long time. Okay, so, so yeah, we're, we're getting near to the end of the alligator habitat. And we'll put in the alligators in just a minute. Uh, probably a few seconds for you. Actually, no, no wait, no, there's the trees. So, with the very limited space I had to make some trees... Uh, you could say I was successful. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, okay. So I, I kind of went with uh, the smallest possible tree I could because I had very limited space. I should really improve that, but I can't really, to be honest, because there isn't the space. Oh. Uh, um, so yes okay right i'm bored of speaking now I, I i cannot talk much more so i hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse um and i'll see you guys for the habitat walkthrough see you guys then
And here is the wonder that is the aquarium in its current state. So, um, okay, I have a few things to mention. So, while we were recording the time lapse, Diligent pointed out that this was a little bit plain. So, my idea for this is this is the indoor section of the seal habitat, and it's supposed to be plain. That's not good. I hardly even tapped in a brick. What? Stop breaking the block. So what happens when you lag? <sighs> See what I mean? <laughs> what? What the heck? Anyway, um, I'm hoping that I won't. Okay, which one is it? I think he said it was Prismarine's lab. That'll be it. Oh no, is that it? Looks like it. Is it? I don't think it is. What? Is it? <laughs> I'm out of my mind. I thought he said it was Prismine Bricks Lab, but that's not what it looks like. Okay, yeah, it, it's definitely Prismine's Lab. Okay, right. Anyway, so this was the indoor seal section for the seal habitat, and then the outdoor section will be here with like a balcony on the second floor looking over it. Anyway, so I so I, this was designed to be plain, but I do think I could add like something small to it. And when I say small, I don't mean like uh sm like size wise. I mean like um detail wise, just a small little detail. Uh, which is like, so I'm, I'm going to basically build a little bit of a, um, a stone archway. Um, and yeah, it'll look good, hopefully, and better, hopefully, than just a plain habitat, hopefully. Um, <sighs> the strain, okay. Uh, pop them there, and there, break that, there we go, Whew. okay, that, that was, um, more trouble than it needed, anyway, so, what I'd like to say is, Dildren built this beautiful restaurant, I have to say beautiful, fish sticks is the name, and he made a little fish, uh, looks okay, it's really hard to build a small scale fish. <laughs> um, also, I love what he did with these monster spawners. Okay, right. I'm, I'm going to go in. It's really good. Like, trust me, it's so good. Look at this. It's amazing. I love the amount of detail. Well done, pen. <laughs> Look at these. Like, all the detail everywhere. Oh, I, I actually like the textured furnaces wait is that that's rails no way he is so inventive oh my god if he had a youtube channel i'd be begging you to subscribe to him this is so amazing <laughs> too bad that the warped thingy isn't uh retextured but still don't i'm just so impressed well done Anyway, so here I have my squid habitat. There's not much to say about this. Um, I mean, it's a squid habitat. Yeah, you kind of get the idea. Anyway, this is the layout for the big um, shark habitat, which will pro probably be the focus on next episode. Um, I'd imagine it will probably take half an hour, maybe a bit more to, to finish it. I'd, I, I have no idea how long it will take. Dep depends how much work we put into it. And there'll be like the top four. So I, I'm thinking another two, uh, one or two parts. Oh no. Why is this lag making me break so much? I'm literally just trying to swipe my screen around. It's breaking things. Please make it stop. It's really unsatisfying. I'm re just, it's just so annoying. Anyway, it's a lot less laggy when I look this way. I need to s 
find a way to sort my lag. Also, I'm really proud of this habitat. It's an alligator habitat based off the Welsh Mountain Zoo, as I said in the time lapse. Um, I definitely recommend it if you are a Brit person, British person, preferably who lives in or near Wales. Um, or if you're just going on a holiday to somewhere around North Wales, give it a visit. It's an amazing zoo. It has all sorts. It's got penguins. It's got sea lions. It's got snow leopards. All that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, definitely I recommend that zoo to you. Um, if you are a, the sort of person who likes zoos, which I'd imagine you would be if you're watching this series. Um, or an aquarium fan if you're watching just the aquarium parts. I'm so glad that I had that on my hotbar. <laughs> This, I, I need to sort out my lag. We may even just have to, like, if it lags too hard, just remove, like, the habitat walkthrough section and just make longer cinematic shots. Um, and then we'll have the time out to make the video shorter. Meh. Anyway, yeah. So, thank you to Dildon so much. He is really good. Uh, this sort of thing like i i love his restaurant it's so good um yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video have a wonderful day obviously there will be a cinematic shot this is the last time i'm gonna say this in a video by now i hope people would actually know that by then i really hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys